A cordial greeting. Today is Friday, September 5, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. This morning I will be talking about the updated forecast for Invest 91, which remains disorganized over the waters of the tropical Atlantic, and it continues to be forecast to move toward the west-northwest during the next seven days, where it could find marginally favorable conditions for development. As it takes this path, it will be passing through an area with a lot of dry air that may influence its cyclonic organization process, and the latest runs of the global models show us that the system could face problems achieving cyclonic organization. Despite this, the National Hurricane Center at 8 a.m. maintains a 60% probability of cyclonic development during the next 48 hours, and a 90% probability of development during the next seven days as it approaches the Caribbean. It is very important that residents of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico continue to pay attention to the evolution of Invest 91, as it is expected to reach the Caribbean in about 8 to 9 days, although there is still much uncertainty about how strong it might be when it moves over the eastern and northeastern Caribbean. While some models keep the disturbance as a tropical wave when it arrives in the Caribbean, others have it as a tropical storm or hurricane when it passes through this region. The highest uncertainty we have today is how organized this system could become. On the other hand, the trajectory projections have better consensus. You can see that all the models take the system across the arc of the Lesser Antilles in about 7 to 9 days, but the forecast is quite complicated in terms of intensity. Some specialized models keep the disturbance quite weak, as a tropical wave or tropical depression, while the vast majority have a gradual strengthening, bringing the system to a tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane in about 5 to 6 days. That being said, these track and intensity projections are from specialized models, but there have been some important changes in the projections of the global models. This morning, the vast majority of them do not develop Invest 91, which could be the beginning of a favorable trend. But let's look at what each model run shows. Let's start with the American model. At the moment, this model is the most aggressive in developing a tropical depression during the afternoon hours of Sunday at a fairly low latitude. And as the system travels west to west-northwest, it strengthens and now has a tropical storm reaching the arc of the Lesser Antilles during the night hours of next Thursday. Then, in about seven days, it takes a turn to the northwest, passing over the northern Leeward Islands or very near the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. This is this morning's run, but note that the midnight run had a much more southern trajectory, so these variations are totally normal between runs, especially when we have a system that is in the process of cyclonic organization. But the big surprise of the day is that the European model shows less and less development of this tropical wave. In fact, in the latest run it does not even develop a tropical depression. On the other hand, the German model, after being quite aggressive in developing a hurricane, in this morning's run now has a weak tropical storm moving toward the arc of the Lesser Antilles in about 5 to 6 days. Additionally, the UK model keeps it as a tropical wave as it moves over the Eastern Caribbean. And aside from the American model, the Canadian model is the only one that still has the development of a tropical storm reaching the Caribbean in about six to seven days, and passing over the northern half of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. So the most significant change in the projections is that now the majority of the models, particularly the European models, do not develop Invest 91, probably due to the dry air found along its future path. Something interesting is that the American model shows a very small circulation associated with the disturbance, which is typical in systems that form in an environment surrounded by a lot of dry air. Sometimes these small systems are difficult to forecast because they can have significant fluctuations in intensity, either going through strengthening processes or rapid dissipation. I also mention this because there is a possibility that the circulation of Invest 91 will be so small that some models do not have the resolution to properly resolve its future formation. So we will be watching in case some models do not show development due to this very small circulation. At least we have seven days before the system approaches the Lesser Antilles, so many changes can occur over the coming days. For the moment we can be calm in the Eastern Caribbean, but very vigilant of its evolution because we know the trajectory will be toward the Lesser Antilles. This uncertainty in the future intensity of Invest 91 can be seen in the ensemble members of the European model. While some have a faster trajectory, keeping the system weak as it reaches the Caribbean, we still have between 10 to 20 percent of them developing a strong tropical storm or hurricane, and in fact taking a turn to the northwest before reaching the Caribbean. So the uncertainty in the forecast is not only about its intensity, but also about its future track. The models that have a faster movement take it over the waters of the Caribbean Sea, while those that have a slower movement pass it just northeast of the Caribbean. In the case of the American model members, we also see a wide spread of different scenarios, from a very southern trajectory reaching the eastern Caribbean, to another farther northwest passing northeast of the Lesser Antilles. And very interestingly, Google's artificial intelligence models show less and less development related to Invest 91. In fact, 
in the latest run only one member manages to develop the system. So, what can I tell you? In reality, the trends this morning have been favorable in showing that conditions in the tropical Atlantic may be less favorable for development than initially projected. However, since this is a long-term forecast and it is seven days from reaching the Caribbean, many changes can happen over the next few days. In my opinion, I think the chance of development of Invest 91 will depend on whether it manages to develop a compact circulation that allows it to protect itself from the dry air located just east of the Caribbean. So we will continue to see fluctuations in the projections of the global models, although I must definitely admit that this morning's trends are quite favorable for the Caribbean, as the only models that develop this disturbance are the American model and the Canadian model. Throughout the day I will continue to pay attention to the next model projections, and if necessary, I will record another update during the afternoon. So before I go, I want to invite you to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent Friday. See you later.